Hi, Aquarius. Oh, my voice just cracked. <clears throat> Still kind of getting over that cold. It's really weird. Sometimes I think maybe it's allergies. It's that time of year. So I am here to do your September 15th to 30th love reading. I have these oracle cards that are huge. And I have little hands, so I have to cut the deck in half. Oh well, right? So how are we doing? When I left you guys the general reading for, um, one second. Oh, that was weird. It was like the meanings card had all the meanings in it. Um, you guys were kind of going through a thing. Kind of. Going through a thing, right? <clears throat> so I'm curious if there was, if there's going to be a choice made. Like, I want this soap opera to end. What is it? Sorry if I messed with my hair. It's kind of driving me nuts. Okay. Opportunity beckons. Of course. Giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. Listen. You guys, you guys can listen sometimes. It's true. Dreams coming true. Yay. Maybe you make a choice. That would be awesome. I would be so happy. So opportunity beckons. What kind of opportunities do we have? We know we have choices. <laughs> I'm so going to mess with you guys in this whole thing. <laughs> you know, I could have totally been off on that, but I don't think it was. I felt it in my bones. I know. I understand. I get it. I see it. I mean, sometimes, sometimes stuff happens. I'm not judging. So we have the Hierophant there. There is the institution, the marriage, society's views on who you shall be, right? And we have justice, balance. If an opportunity comes up for you to get balanced, I suggest you take it. King of Swords. This guy is a guy who knows what he wants. He's very rational minded. He goes for it. He could be you. He has like tunnel vision, goes for it. The Hermit, this is the Virgo card. It's also the card of, you have three major arcanas in that first one. Um, looking at things in a different light, being spiritual. Going within yourself to find a path, to find a way. <clears throat> so the Hierophant could be Taurus. The Justice is Libra. Um, so if you have a Virgo, Libra, or Taurus, or if that's your moon or rising signs, or somebody else's, whoever you're choosing, whoever you choose to choose. So when opportunity beckons... Of course we want balance. When the opportunity beckons, do we have tunnel vision and go for it? Or do we use the path of the light? It's small light. I know you guys have ideas going on in your heads. I know. Ah, giving and receiving. The three of swords. This is a very popular card with you guys. Very popular. That's going to get clarified here in a little bit. So giving and receiving, so maybe you should, oh, and actually giving and receiving, yeah, that's, that totally makes sense, you know, you have to give of yourself, give something up of yourself to receive a blessing, right? Somebody else has to give something up to receive a blessing. I almost didn't do your video because there are people moving in. 
across the hall. And it's kind of loud. So if it starts getting like, oh, man, you guys, come on. If it starts getting like bumpy and loud, that's why. Sorry. But I really wanted to. Like, I want to know how this plays out. <sighs> uh, Aquarius. You're killing me. Five of Pentacles. You feel like somebody's going to be left out if you make a choice, right? So you need to listen to yourself, listen to um, what you feel the right opportunity is, you know, be that king of swords instead of having this vision everywhere else. Listen. Listen to your inner guidance. The seven of wands. And you're fighting yourself. Because this guy, those wands, there's nobody there. He's just, he's like guarding himself. He's guarding himself. Why? Why? Choices. Temperance, patience, balance. This should be you. You should be using that spiritual inner journey that you know you have. But instead, you are the Eight of Swords. You are locked within a mindset of not being able to go anywhere. You're blinded, right? But what you don't understand is you can get out of these thoughts, this mindset. Anytime you want to, that girl is not bound tight. Queen of Swords. This also could be you, but it could be somebody else who is um, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or has it in their charts. So maybe you kind of feel like this is what, you don't want to leave this person out in the cold. They've been patient. They've been patient with you. But you're fighting an inner battle. You're fighting an inner battle. Where you're bound within yourself. And the Five of Cups. So we have Five Pentacles, Five of Cups. There's a change. There's a change a-coming. Um, fives represent change, by the way. And the Hierophant over here is a five as well. So, yeah, that didn't get past me. Um, fives can be manifestations, too, for change. The Five of Cups, this guy's kind of you know, crying over spilled milk. There's these three cups that are spilled in front of him, but there are two behind him. So this situation is going to go from three to two and somebody's going to get hurt. I mean, inevitable, right? Inevitable that somebody is going to get hurt in this. The thing about that is though, is sometimes you have to give of yourself to receive. You have to sacrifice something of yourself, sacrifice something of yourself to receive, be wise, be moral with the higher fan. <clears throat> so what dreams are coming true? What are you guys dreaming of? Love? Are you just dreaming of balance? Are you dreaming of quiet peace? I can understand that. You guys have been through the hell, the ringer, man. But you kind of put yourself there. I don't want to say it because I love Aquarius people. They can be kind of obnoxious, but I'm a Virgo, so I can say that. We can be obnoxious too. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I admit my obnoxiousness. Okay, what dreams do we have? The Seven of Cups. Options. But it's almost like you guys want to you want to look at the big picture from. So what I'm thinking of is like, you know, when you're on the Statue of Liberty or like the Eiffel Tower and they have those little viewfinder things, that you can see everything. It's like that's what you want to do is look at the big picture that way. And you don't want to focus it in to see what those opportunities are 
in a clearer, not foggy way. These could be your dreams. Are you listening to your dreams? I don't know where that came from, but I'm going to clarify the three of swords. I just got like really heavy heart. Um, balance. Balance in this opportunity. So many choices. Do you guys have seven choices? <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Just teasing you because it's fun. Three of Swords. What is it that we have to give? What is it that we need to receive? Hearts are going to be broken. And there won't just be one heart. I feel like this may be a product of like, it's not like a win, win, win situation. It's a lose, lose, lose. Because there's so much heavy burdens on you regarding this that you can't seem to find a way to loosen it. Does that make sense? And if you do find that way to loosen it, it's still going to be a burden. And it'll be a burden to everyone. So what are we giving of ourselves? What do we need to give? What is, okay. So I'm being told to shuffle and pull from the bottom of the deck. So I feel like maybe this, your dreams coming true, you're going to have many options, many opportunities, should you choose to release yourself from this position, from this five of cups, from the seven of swords, from this battle within you, seven of wands. So we have the seven of wands and the seven of swords. I didn't, and the seven of cups, three fives, three sevens. All right. I'm just seeing if there are any other numbers that correlate with each other. Good gracious. Okay, shuffling. So let's see the outcome. Let's, you know, let's see what we can expect. Let's see, um, because to me, this is so much confusion here. Three major arcanas. Opportunity beckons. Three major arcanas, options, opportunities, and then right in the middle is your angst. All right. King of Wands. It's a fi fiery SOB, let me tell you. He's a doer. Very chaotic sometimes. He sits on his throne and he rules. He's a tell it how it is kind of guy. He rules in a way that may not necessarily be fair, but it could get it done. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on to something too tightly. But you got to let you got to let a pentacle go or you're not going to be able to pick up anymore. Or you're either somebody, I feel like this, maybe this king of wands is holding on to too tightly. Um, king of wands could be you or it could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. What are you holding on to too tightly? What can you not let go? And then the nine of swords. Yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck in a state of angst. Knight of Wands, fast action. This could be another person. We have one, two, three, four, or it could be an 
an opportunity coming in. This could be another person coming in. The only cups I see, the only love is all of these options and then sadness. And then you refusing, refusing this love from the universe that is being offered to you. Why? Because of that. And then something will come down. The tower is falling. Something's got to change. Something has to change. Something has to change. Because hearts are being broken. Because you deserve to have an opportunity that comes in. Now, if this is your partner, <clears throat> if this is your partner and they are a fire sign, I don't, I know, because it looks like to me that they are possibly, maybe they are offering you love and you're saying no, because they all came out together. They're putting you in this state of mind, this I can't get out of bed. I'm stuck. See to mind. Even though she could get out of bed. If this is an air sign who has been left out in the cold, maybe you should listen to them. Maybe you should listen. Maybe you should listen to yourself because it seems to me that this person has been there for you through all of this. You know? And this could be the person's heart that you're breaking. I don't see a deception card. I really just see a lot of angst going on, a lot of options to choose from. Um, I don't see that I feel like something is coming out. I feel like that with temperance, something is coming out. There's going to be a spiritual balance. There's going to be balance. And Maybe it's a Taurus, Libra, Virgo. So, all right. I didn't get my answer. I just know that the tower is coming down and I want to know why. I want to know what's going on. So comment if this resonated. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your September. Um, and think about it. Think about the options that you have. Think about the people that are there for you and work, work within that energy. Um, and really, if somebody isn't giving you the love or they're offering, or you know, you've offered them love and they've turned it down, break down that tower, man. Cut it out, I'm tired of tower readings. Just let it go, let something go. Because there's new stuff coming in for you, really and sacrifice something, sacrifice of yourself. All right, I will see you for October readings. Bye.